Hello everyone, today's story is called Jaffa's Epic Day on Delivery. Here we go. It was very early in the morning in Foodland. Everyone was fast asleep in their beds. Everyone, except for Jaffa the postman that is, he always got up early. He had a very important job. But first, he made himself some breakfast and a nice hot mug of tea. Lovely. Jaffa started work at 6am every morning. He cycled to work on his bicycle. He did that every day, no matter what the weather. He arrived at the post office in good time. There was a lot of letters and parcels for him to sort. Jaffa's round was enormous. He had to deliver all over Foodland. But Jaffa didn't mind. He loved his job. After sorting his letters and parcels into bundles and bags, he placed all of the day's mail in the back of his shiny new post van. Jaffa's van was very smart. It was clean and tidy and even had heated seats, which came in very handy during the cold winter. After doing his final van checks, Jaffa set off on his long delivery. His first stops were at Bread and Milk's houses. When Jaffa pulled up outside Milk's house, Milk was practising his magic tricks. Hello, Jaffa, smiled Milk. Would you like to see a magic trick? Oh, yes, please. I like magic. Milk showed Jaffa his magic hat and magic wand. Now, he said, all I need is something I can make disappear. Jaffa was holding a parcel in his hand for bread. That'll do nicely, said Milk, and he placed the parcel inside his magic hat. Then he said the magic words, Abracadabra, and tapped the hat with his wand. Milk had made the parcel disappear and pulled out a milkshake. That's good, smiled Jaffa, but where's bread's parcel? Oops, Milk had that lost look on his face. There it is, said Jaffa. The parcel was on the top of Milk's roof. How did he get up there? Uh, magic, replied Milk. But now there was a problem. How was Jaffa going to retrieve Bread's parcel? What we need is a ladder, said Jaffa, and quickly. That gave Milk a fantastic idea, and he made a phone call. Hello, he said. We need your help. Don't worry, was the reply. I'll be right with you. Now, who do we know in Foodland that is quick and can hold a ladder? Yes, it's Carrot. Carrot ran to Mr. Beef's farmhouse to grab a ladder before sprinting to Milk's house. It took him less than five minutes. Thank you, Carrot, said Jaffa. Milk and Carrot were both scared of heights, so it was up to Jaffa to climb up the steps and retrieve the parcel from the roof. He reached for the parcel and climbed onto the roof. Then there was trouble. He accidentally knocked over the ladder and it snapped as it hit the floor. Crash! Uh-oh! Now Jaffa was stuck on the roof with the parcel. Help, he called. Milk made another call. This time he rang for the fire brigade. At the fire station, Waffle was tidying up when the fire bell rang. Ooh, he said. Now who needs the fire service? Jaffa is stuck on Milk's roof. Hang on, Jaffa. We're on our way, he said. Waffle's fire engine soon arrived at the scene. Hello, everyone. Now, Jaffa, how did you end up on the roof? Magic, <laughs> laughed Carrot. Using his strong and sturdy ladder, Waffle rescued Jaffa and the parcel. Thank you, he said. Then he turned to Milk. I think you need a bit more practice with your magic tricks. Ha-ha! <laughs> Milk blushed. Bread, meanwhile, was very happy to eventually get his parcel. It was a new model aeroplane. Next, Jaffa went to Sausage's house. He had two letters and a parcel for him. It was a new football. Thank you, Jaffa, he smiled. Then he quickly rang Beans and asked him if he would like to play a game in the park. Jaffa had letters for pizza at the Sea Life Centre. Then he delivered parcels to Mr Pickle and Dr Pepper at the Salt Shaker Surgery. His next stop was at Mr Beef's farm. Cheese and onion were feeding the goats. Hello, you two, smiled Jaffa. Have you seen Mr Beef? I have an important letter for him. Yes, he's in the barn preparing the hay for the horse, replied Onion. Jaffa was walking across the farmyard when a goat escaped from its field. It chased after Jaffa. Help! Help! Somebody stop that goat! He yelled. It had been raining overnight and the farmyard was very wet and muddy. Then there was more trouble. Jaffa slipped on the wet mud and skidded across the yard. Look out! He called and slid into the barn, crashing into a huge bundle of hay. Poof! Hay flew everywhere. Poor Jaffa. Mr. Beef was at the back of the barn and heard the commotion. Hello, Jaffa. What are you doing in there? And he helped him out of the hay. Luckily, Mr. Beef's letter stayed clear of the mud and landed safely on a haystack. Well, that's one way of delivering the mail, he laughed. Was it an express delivery? He chuckled to himself. Jaffa managed to raise a small smile. 
I must finish my round, he said urgently. Of course, replied Mr. Beef. Thank you for your help, said Jaffa. Now I must be on my way. I wonder what else is going to happen today. Funny things kept happening to Jaffa all day. He helped Sandwich out of a sticky situation after getting his hand stuck in a jam jar. Then at the school, he rescued Mr. Mash from a leaky tap in the staff canteen. On his way to Bacon's house, he passed Egg, who had somehow managed to get his feet stuck in a muddy puddle. Help me, called Egg. His final stop was at Bacon's house. Bacon had a tiny parcel. Aha, he said, that'll be my new whistle. And he blew, it, blew on it loudly. Jaffa closed his eyes and plugged his ears with his fingers to block out the noise. Ah, make it stop, make it stop, he yelled. Then Jaffa opened his eyes. He found himself sitting at his kitchen table. The whistle was coming from the kettle. It had all been a bad dream. Whew. Then Jaffa's phone rang. It was Milk. Hello, Jaffa. Would you like to see a magic trick? <laughs> and that is the end of the story. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.